Come on, everybody, let's start the show. A quick ahoy hoy, and away we'll go. Richard's got a mini fig, and Flynn's got a pin. The gang's all here, and it's time to begin. Tricky Bricks Roll Call. Moto. Holly. Kara. And sometimes Blair. Clicky. Logan. Ms. Thing and Angela and Thunderman Ho! Now you're here to grab your bricks and let's go to the Tricky Bricks Build and Check Show! Ahoy hoy, friends! Ahoy hoy, friends! I think we need to scooch over that way a little bit. Really? Maybe, let's just turn the camera. Oh, sure. Let's do that. Well, here we go. Hi, look at Hi, this. Hi, friends. Well, my goodness. It is, uh, it's Sunday. We're here. Barely. Barely. <laughs> we're, we're on the verge of Bricks Cascade, building until late at night, building until, you know, every minute. Yes. And on top of that, there is school for me. Um, and we are like... It's midterms this week, so it's going to be uh, a very exciting <laughs> everything, everywhere, all at once. I, that is exactly where you it is. My googly eyes. I need a googly. I need a third googly eye at this point. If and, you haven't seen that movie, it's awesome. And everything, I need another everywhere. brain and about two more pairs of arms. With it's really the only. Oh, Flynn <laughs> Garmadon. <laughs> Well, we're super happy to be here. We're going to have the Sunday lunch bunch right here with us in a second. Uh, lunch? Now they're lunch? Brunch. Brunch bunch. <laughs> wow. As you can see, it's already starting off on a, a high note, friends. Look, and I'm preparing cookies for a certain someone. Yes. And uh, so it's oh, going no, to be it's not that a... <laughs> going to be a short and sweet and scattered show today i'm just like warning everybody in in advance buckle up everyone uh, it's going to be a bumpy ride wow is it i can't believe you just quoted all about eve on our show. <laughs> we have just raised the gay bar like like above the level of the camera like that's how high it is now Let's invite our friends in the green room. Oh, man. I don't know. They may all leave. <laughs> <laughs> but let's see who's here today. From the middle left-hand side of the United States, it's... Moto. Moto. Hi, Moto. Moto. Oh, yes. That's right. It's And it's St. Patrick's Day. And you know what? Uh-oh. Look. There's no green over I there. I just not. realized. Well, actually, I, the well, shirt I am wearing is actually green. It just is green on camera, and the the pin that I am working on right here is green. So I'll be close. No pinches. And my here. pin is also green ish. So okay. yeah. cool. did you ever get pinched for not wearing green? Uh that was like an elementary school. I thing. mean, probably, but that's well, here, Richard. You can pinch him for me. I'll just put my hand right <laughs> to the camera. Pinch your butt. <laughs> there you go. Um, all From right. the middle left-hand side of the lovely San Francisco Bay Area, it is... Is it really? Mm. Hi, Cara. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, uh, that was a new designation that was given to you today, I guess. Absolutely. Well, don't look at a map. Yeah, don't. <laughs> Or think at, at, at all. Wow, what is that giant box you have right there? It's the dream. Ooh. I am scavenging for um, underwater corals and plants. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> As you do. Uh, if I had my red writing card, what a my what a large set you have! <laughs> my goodness. And from the northernmost side of anyone in the green room, it's Holly. It's Holly. Wow. Oh, hi. See, I, this I have is a, why I do it. I'm a rebel. I'm rebelling, but I do have a green pen. <laughs> yeah, my pen is green. It's minty. Like I said, this is more green than it looks on camera. I gotta say. I yeah. It's kind of sad. I've but got anyway, a nest here, so this is I'm going to be on and off camera today. 
Well, like I said, it's a, I've already explained to everybody it's going to be short, sweet, and scattered today. We are like all of us. Uh, I know three of us here on camera are, uh, you know, prepping for Bricks Cascade. And one of us is relaxing with his feet up in the style of a mini doll sitting down. <laughs> I hate you so much right now. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Anyway, so how's everybody <laughs> doing in the lead up? What's going on? Um, I'm, I'm doing still, great. I'm still Get determined ready. I can build something <laughs> in like two days. All right. Well, hey, why not? But I got to clean my table off first. Okay, your arms are going to get tired there, mini doll man. Wow, we have Holly. I'm right there yeah. with you with the cleaning off the table. I feel like we've spent, we've started every build session with cleaning off the table. And you know, if you move a 10 by 10 mills plate, all the birds go into that area like immediately, <laughs> like spice into a sandworm. 10 by 10. Whoa. That doesn't seem like a standard mills size. Or is it? Oh, those are cool. What do you mean 10 by 10? We said like a 10 by 10 mills plate. I've never seen someone work on a unit of 10 by 10 before. Oh, 10 think... by 10 inches. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're yeah. Not, we're we're not talking to just anybody right now. You have it's to true. use Lego terms. We're not talking to people. <laughs> no. It's true. Well, we could 32 say 32 by 32. By 32. Yeah. <laughs> Here, let me measure that for you. Well, when I think about, is this going to fit on the table right. or not? Yeah. Is this going to fit on the table? Then I have to go to inches. I mean, that's what then... that's what conversion calculators are for. Am I right? Yep. yep. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, and I just, and let me take this moment to remind everybody that there will be no show next Sunday because Bricks Cascade. Just put oh, that. That makes sense. Uh, so yeah, uh, and also I will be probably furiously finishing midterm assignments as well. So no show. Um, and I'm working on something here. I'm working on turning this. Oh, it's hard to see them here, but it's a bag of miscellaneous mini doll parts oh, that somebody gave us at one point in our life, and you will know that they are all bald because they were like, "I'm not giving you any of the hair," but. Please. Well, plus we have a lot of bald mini dolls because we steal their wigs. Yes. Well, they have the best. We hair. snatch their wigs. Yeah. Say when you say when you say taking to take a wig is to snatch. There is no other word. You just yeah. You don't take. You, 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 just, you just you can make a bunch of uh, GI Jane or Ripley Alien Three. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Sam, we are going to be uh, doing um, a meetup probably at this point going to have to be organized like when we're there there's just there's a lot going on and we've had some changes in availability for some people and that sort of stuff so yes um oh the sunday after next will be easter will we be streaming we have traditionally because we don't like that's not really a holiday for us but we we, we certainly oh, easter yeah, well, I like coloring eggs. You know, the smell of vinegar, the stain on the fingers. Chocolates. Chocolates. Chocolate. I know I'm not, I know everyone's not a fan, but I do like a well made jelly bean. I do like the smell of a well roasted peep in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I do like a good round of peep jousting uh, 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 Easter time. We'll have to get a microwave. We'll have to get a microwave just for the occasion. You come over and use mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I can. I cannot promise that we'll clean it up. I'll, I'll even clean it before the jousting. <laughs> That's funny. Peep jousting championships. I mean, I actually kind of was glad when they started making making peeps in different colors because it made it a lot easier to do, you know, like to tell who won, to oh, see yeah. who won, and, and rounds and that kind of thing. Anyway, <laughs> enough about that. Enough about sweets. <laughs> wow. I know it's sweet. Hey, uh, I told my, my you. favorite candy of all time is uh, Cadbury cream eggs, but they don't Ooh, they don't make yes. the kind that I love anymore. They've been dead for years. Unfortunately. What kind do you love that they don't make? 
they made a dark chocolate fondant version, so it was completely dark. Cho- sorry, it was completely dark chocolate from the beginning <laughs> to the end. How did you peel it off with your little hook hands? Uh, peel off the foil. With the little I hook. had to grab my oversized scissors <laughs> that, that don't move. You know, I've seen at various conventions. I've seen really uncomfortable. I use looking- magic. Oh, <laughs> have you ever seen the poor kid in the mini figure costume made of cardboard tubes and they can barely move and they're trying not to fall off the stage? Have Have you ever seen a mini doll costume? I never. haven't. I made myself one. Well, really? I mean, well, no, sorry, not a mini doll, mini fig costume. Well, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've seen a mini doll a, um, a Sweet Mayhem cosplay oh yeah so yeah yeah. holly you made a mini figure costume Mm -hmm. yeah i was the uh i was uh uh oh god i just forgot her name the witch um willa 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 yes yeah willow the witch costume yeah i always want to say hagatha but it's not that's not it that's a good one yeah so was it an entirely uncomfortable costume I just did the, you sort of half uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, I just did like the torso part of it, so my arms were free to move. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure. And then I just had like little squishy hands that I made. Um, oh, good. Claws. Good. So I could still, I still had dex, dexterity, and then it was just, you know, having to walk a little, little bit like this. But, and then I had the head. The head was pretty uncomfortable. It's hard to see. Yeah. It. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I, I think of Moto navigating around a delicate convention hall wearing Mr. Meow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's right over there. Yeah. Oh, he's backwards. I got to write. I gotta okay, write. Sam. And, oh, my God. Are you, uh, you really? <laughs> that's freaking amazing. Wow, okay. And I am 100% here for that. <laughs> that's yeah. so cool. Wow. I really eventually, I would love one day to do a total, I, I've mentioned this before, but a, a group costume um uh, of uh, forest men, like just oh, a whole I would love that. troop of forest men uh, costumes, but but like real, like real life, as if it was real clothes, not like everybody dressed like mini figures. That'd be cute. I'd be. I don't want to be that, that that uncomfortable, frankly. But anyway, hey, it's, it's time for pins. It's time for pins at ten thirteen. Why not? Oh, what did I do with it? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna have to pick another green pin because I lost the other one. Oh man! <laughs> this table's I just down. happened to pick a green pin. Oh hoy hoy, Matthew builds bricks. How's it going? I should say. Not sure I'm going to be able to do a uh, cookie time today for a number of reasons. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, so okay. shall we? Uh, let's see. Well, Adam Sorry, is you cosplaying as well. I know. Oh. All right, I have a fun. I love you from. The Cheshire Cat. Oh, we both chose a similar theme. <laughs> all right, let's see. Uh, 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 all right, uh, Holly. It's green. <laughs> oh, oh, that is awesome! Holy shit! Crap. Four years old. We can curse now. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. You no, know, I'm, forgive me, I'm so square sometimes, but that's not castle. Skeletor's it's, castle. Yes, it's, it's a castle, castle gray skull. skull. Yes. yes. Yep. I got it. Wow. Yeah. You, you did it. I knew a thing. And if you hadn't have said that there right before it, everyone would have thought you just knew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Moto, where are we going today? Uh, we're going nowhere. We're going for the pin that I could not find that one day. But here's the here is the International Women's Day pin that I do have. Yeah. So we are oh, going. Cool. We are going somewhere. We're going back in time. Yeah. <laughs> back in time. Hey, every day is International Women's Day. Okay. As well, yeah. it should be. Every day should be all the days. Yeah. I think. All the days. That's right. Um, I guess it's us now. El uh, Nerd. I think Tom Nurk. Uh, Tom <laughs> Term Nurk. <laughs> Your third term there. I think Tom Nook's shirt is probably tight too. I'm Don't Team Nurk. All the from all the all the money stuffed inside of it. <laughs> I know he's a wealthy miser. All right, 
I've got Hang right on, here. Go. We've got Clicky coming around the corner, helping no, us Clicky, with focus. Clicky is on a break. So <laughs> hold on. Right there, we've got Mike. Wazowski. And Ike. And I, in honor of today, or actually like kind of where my head is at, if this tells you anything. Um, yeah. I, I have... That. <laughs> the Mad Adders yeah. hat <laughs> where I am madder than most This, the, I have a feeling this next week is just going to be one long tea party <laughs> oh, oh, if only <laughs> yeah tea party with textbooks <laughs> thrilling anywho um, my goodness well um, hey it's time to say hi all up in the chat. Hi, chat. Even in the chat. I see so lots of friends hi to everybody. There. So say hi. So we know that you're there. Um, and we will say hello. My goodness. I I don't think I have been this scattered on a live show since like lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> and there were a lot of them in lockdown. <laughs> Well, we got our piece all together and got all the lights working, the mechanics working, and then we had to take it all apart, basically, like travel apart so that we can do the base plates. And now we're putting it all back together today. Oh, I know. We, one last time. That's one thing about building buildings that are suspended on really skinny columns high up in the air. You can't Underwater. really build on them on the, like while they're attached to the thing. You have to take take them off and like decorate all the inside of them. So we must have taken parts of this thing apart like many, many yeah. times. And now we are hopefully now at the final take apart. Well, no, the final take apart will be on Tuesday after we put it back together and take it apart again to pack it. But oh boy, it's going to be um, it's going to be a good one. It's conventions, and unlike when we were in lockdown, conventions are going strong. They are but, well, not in California. They are. Um, That's so sad. We go, we go to Oregon for our conventions. It's the now is it no it's not the only West Coast one because, because there's Seattle uh, Seattle and Brick Can yeah there's three mm -hmm. on the West Coast okay yes Brick Can only counts because it's John and um, uh, Aileen uh, Aileen yes how does it not count it's the best one sorry it's a good one I haven't yeah. well I, uh, I hear it's a good one no. I haven't been yet no the best one is Brick's Cascade. But you haven't been to Brick Can. They're different. They are different. I shouldn't say one's better than the other, but they are they are they are quite different. Very good. I, I'm sorry, I need you guys to show your verification of being a gatekeeper in the Royal Gate. <laughs> can, can you hold your cards up? They're like they're like Brick's Cafe is the best. I need one. to see your certification for uh for the uh gatekeeping. Well, I yeah. should say my personal favorite is Brick's Cascade. You okay. may choose whichever one is your favorite. It's whichever one I'm at. <laughs> I think that's fair. Yeah. Do, do you like Denver Moto? Do I like what? Isn't there? Isn't there? There's no convention. In there's Denver. no convention in Denver. I thought there was. No. No. No convention. No. I think I, you not a, not a recognized. Uh, made it up. Yeah. No, we have uh, we have yeah. Brickfest expos that come through, but there's no conventions. Got it. Uh, okay. Well, let's say hi to the people in the chat. Yeah. Right? Hey, hi, people in the chat. We we've got. Isaac's Bricks, how's it going? Fourth, Fourth World, World Adam. Adam is here. Brick Jedi, Carolyn, C C C C C C. See you later. Did you see how I like? Oh, right. Slid Transition. into that. Darren Siegfried is here. Fabby Fan M K E. Hello, Jake Sadovich. Hello, sir. I assume we will be seeing you soon. Hope so. I hope. Um, Johnny, Johnny Cat is here. Is hey, here. Johnny. How's it going? Uh, Catherine Harmon. And Sam, I'm sure, is here too. Yep. Uh, Lisa Head is here. L Nerd, hello. We got uh, Mini Fig Chick, Monica, Monica Berry, and, and Moto. Moto. Um, yep, there's Sam. And I saw Marilyn Parmley as well. Yeah, Marilyn Parmley is here. And you know who I saw even earlier? Who's that? The first person in the chat was Wilford. Wilford. He oh, just popped in hey. to say that he couldn't be here for the show, but he was saying hello. So and well we saw Matthew Builds Bricks. Matthew Builds Bricks, yes. Phil Carlton is here, just popped in, of course. Uh, yeah, we got all the all the peoples are here. He said, yep. Hello again, List. <laughs> uh, but uh, hey, I'm so glad you're here. 
sorry that we are on a um, some what can a what can someone right? expect from the tricky lug if they're going to go to Brooks Cascade this year? What can they expect? In Hello, order Oliver. of scheduling and fun. In order, in order <laughs> listed in order of schedule by days and hours. Oh, boy. oh my goodness. Oh, boy. oh hey. Well, you send uh, out the agenda. I'm just reminding you what it is. It's well, your own I agenda. Know that at Bricks Cascade, you can meet Lego <laughs> Masters from the new season. Yeah, I heard that that's a thing that's happening. Yeah, um, Kelly, Kelly's gonna be like doing all kinds keynote. of stuff. She's keynote, keynote speaker, emceeing. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Oh, well, that's cool. Very good. And we just heard, uh, we just heard that Crystal Star is going to be. No, on... I don't know of anything. You don't know about Con anything. Con Con you don't know about anything. Well, I know that Crystal and Michelle from season one and two are on Lego Masters versus the World because that ad run on ran on nine. Now that's a cool. Amazing. Oh, we do know that. Okay, good. I just that's, wanted to make sure I we, knew, we that. knew it. Well, we didn't know that the first time we heard it. Oh, but now it. we know it. Oh, yeah. we didn't. I, I am we... the worst secret keeper. <laughs> is she coming? Is she coming to Cascade? I have no idea. Oh, I don't know about that. I heard about her being on a show. Yeah, they're both going to be at a bricks and minifigs opening in California somewhere. In That's California somewhere. That's. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm I didn't excited. Know the name I thought you. Were, I thought you were about to say she was. She was going to be there. It's going to be. Oh, I don't know if any of the old school folks are going to be there except for Mark, Mark and us. Mark Krushank should be there. Mark, we get to see yep. Mark Krushank. Oh, yeah. Mark's so, got to be there to, you know, collect his trophies. His city, his city is awesome. The way it's looking. I am sure. He always does an amazing job. The um, purveyor of apocalyptic Duplo. As far as what you can expect from Tricky Lug, uh, we have um, a collab, of course, mm -hmm. that we're doing that we've been talking about. The Friend Zone, our friends, uh, uh, friends and Aqua Zone mashup, which is going to be pretty big i think at this point it is um big whoa it's so like two three tables do i know two? i think two tables it's two it, tables it's gonna be That's our cool. our biggest tricky lug collab for sure yeah 10 10 wide and four deep so we've got some really really great stuff really excited about that we will we'll be Richard and I will be there, kind of helping to get everything uh, coordinated. But we do have a map that uh, that's been worked on. Yeah, it's going to be massive, and I'm telling you, there's there's black light stuff, there's coral, there's movement. It's got all of. The we'll things. have we'll have underwater sounds if I can push that or put that together. I have so far. I only found wave sounds, and the only underwater sounds I found well, the sound of a diver breathing or a whale. And I thought the diver breathing would be kind of a creepy soundtrack. So I know that at a public looking. library, you can get uh, CD tracks of like ocean waves and stuff. That's what I want: is underwater bubbling. Yeah, it has to be like uh, underwater bubbling. Is there, are there waves underwater? I don't know. Um, oh, I'm Hi. awesome. You know, maybe you're coming again. Excellent. Well, it'll be great to see you again. Very cool. And Adam, who has been a major, if not the major, mover and shaker for and and original inspiration for the friend zone. Yes. Is going to be there, but he'll be super busy because he's also another theme coordinator. Well, he's yes, for, for Castle. So uh anywho, well, my goodness. Oh, Monica, can I share? Uh, yes, you know, I, I am, because I'm not on, um, yeah, I was like, who's Shane? Uh, I can talk about the thing that I did with Bruce. I just, you know, with not being on, really on social media anymore, I missed out on the social media blitz that took place about the project, so I don't actually really know. You all probably know more about it than I do at this point. Well, I saw he was releasing news. He is. And I mean, and I should say, Bruce is a very good friend of mine and we talk weekly. So I, I've been keeping up on it. Like I knew he was doing it, but he also knew that I haven't been on social media. So I was going to miss all of it. Um, but yeah, so um, I worked on a project. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. And see, that's the other thing. Without being on social media, I don't know if it's caused a social media firestorm or whether everybody just kind of went, oh, that's cool. Uh, but uh, it's been low key. It's been low key. But it's been there. Oh, people freaking out. You mean? I mean, why would people freak out? Because, okay. Well, anyway, it's um, 
Yeah, it is. It is public, uh, Monica. It's been it's been out on on the thing. But uh, we uh, I participated in uh, building uh, a job like a like a paid gig. Um, I went up to Portland for two weeks and worked on a uh, a thing for Mega Blocks. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you thought people were gonna see? Bruce was the same way. He's like, he's like, he was talking about doing a panel at Bricks Cascade, and he's like, "Am I gonna get you know booed out of the room if I mention Mega?" And I'm like, "Okay, so who in their right mind, as a serious builder, would turn down a paid gig to to build something right? with any type of bricks?" <laughs> okay, well, so there, so there is really? so there's that element. Oh yeah, absolutely. I turn it down. But and I turn down any paid gig. Like, I'm actually happy to do um, an episode. We can talk about it. Like I'll have Bruce on and we can we talk should. about it. I think we should. Um, Cause it's a really cool project. And I mean, I can kind of yeah. give you the quick rundown of it, but um, we were hired to um, create these kind of play areas. So um, the, these play areas will be in, it, one is in Abu Dhabi. The other one is going to be in Berlin. And um, essentially, there's like a space themed one and a dinosaur themed one. We built these huge um, dioramas. And then there are play areas around that kind of like go around the dioramas uh, with parts. And then there are little mini models for the kids to build either space themed or dinosaurs. So my purview for the job was I designed um, and did the instructions for all the mini models that are going to get built by the kids. Nice. So um, that Slick. was a re I'm sorry. Slick. Yeah, it was a cool project. I really, um, I honestly, I learned a lot about, um, and this, you know, applies to Lego, of course, but like I learned a lot about um, building sculpturally with very few pieces, which is not something that I do either thing. <laughs> I don't build with few pieces and I also don't like um, do, but I, you know, I was building these very small 50 to 75 piece models, um, you know, that, that had to look like a dinosaur or look like a space thing and have some moving parts. Well, um, and it, so there was that. And then I did, uh, I actually went on site and I built some of the things for the dinosaurs. I built some rock formations for the dinosaur thing. And then I kind of um, was the, I don't know what you would call it. I was like chief botanist <laughs> like I, for the for the landscaping for the, um, the dinosaur uh, land. I basically created all the designs for the plants and then we just recreated them and, you know, put yeah. them all around. But well, those were basically what I did. Now, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I feel like you learned several um, major differences between Mega and Lego. Well, of system. course, yeah. Like mm -hmm. one, one being that in Mega overall, there was a smaller variety of pieces, but there were maybe more options for plants and more, nearly yeah. unlimited options for color. Yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't go too like I don't know what I can and can't say, so I'm just gonna stick mm -hmm. to like the color options are different, um, and I will say um, there is not uh, Oliver, there's not special software. Um, we used um, uh, brick. Oh, what was it called? Wait, do I still have it on the computer? I can't remember now. Um, Bricksmith is what we used. Um, mm -hmm. and there was like a whole thing about, like, again, I don't know what I am and I'm not allowed to talk about, so I'm just going to keep oh, got it in general. But, uh, but I, I, I know, I know precisely what happened. The first step was you opened the door. The second step was that you got on the floor and the third step was that you walked to that dinosaur. And that's yes, how it, that's, that's how exactly all, what, what happened that was in the exact order. In, yep. in yes, exactly. There's there. a whole generation of people that have no idea what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. it, it goes boom, boom, shakalaka, boom, boom. And you repeat that like 16 times and then you get into the song. Google it, kids. <laughs> was so, it was. <laughs> it's the name of the band. <laughs> but yeah, it was. It's so funny. I wasn't even expecting to talk about this today. But yeah, it was a really... Um, <clears throat> It was fun. It was um, eye-opening about a lot of things. 
um, as far as like, I don't know, like what else is out there? And certainly there were some, there were some parts that I was like, oh man, I wish this was a thing in Lego. Like there were some, yeah. definitely there was that. Um, and then there were some parts that were kind <laughs> yeah. of like, but slightly different than, and learning to work within that framework. Actually, I think the hardest part for me was <laughs> learning how to work um, with their library of parts. Cause I would always think, oh, I could use a blah, 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 blah thing, okay. but that blah, 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 blah thing doesn't exist. So yeah. I had to kind of remember how certain parts differed and stuff. But yeah, anyway, it was, uh, um, it was a cool experience. It was fun to get paid for, <laughs> for that. It was very, uh, I mean, I felt like I kind of got the idea of what it's probably like to work at like Legoland or something like that. Cause we were working with um, solvents. Um, and I did have to wear like a big sort of like air, uh, you know, like, like a, a respirator, respirator and uh, a goggles. And I had my own little table with with these like little um, hoses, like little vacuum hoses above yeah. them that like sucked up the um, all of the fumes and stuff. And that Bruce is a powerhouse. He created an amazing workshop. He did. He made an amazing Dealing with studio. Pallets and pallets worth of pieces. Like really, it's <laughs> what he was able to build there. I think it was pretty cool. <laughs> um, or, um, I don't know if I would call it a poly relationship so much as I have a side piece. <laughs> but uh, <coughs> I will say it was it was it was a an enlightening and fun experience, and it was also one of the first times I had gone back into a job like with other people in person. So, oh, you mean since the pandemic? Yeah, and it was so it was really fun. I got to hang out. Kelly Bartlett and I hung out while this was like prior to her. Oh no, wait, she had just gotten back. From I was going to say, I think it was kind of during even. It was. It was. She had literally just gotten back, um, and and so she and I, of course, <laughs> had some chats about yeah. stuff, and. Um, yeah, it was a, a anyway, all in all, it was a it was a great time. It was a cool project. I'm happy to have worked on it and I feel like um as much as it feels great to be like, oh yeah, it was cool. Now I know what it's like to work at Legoland. I would have to say I would not want to have to work the bulk of my time in a job with a respirator and gloves and uh yeah, it doesn't seem and, fun all that stuff on like that was a lot it was a lot uh but you know i put on my my headphones i think i watched like the entirety of the chilling adventures of sabrina like while i was there working i just had my ipad up and put it put it on in the background and um but yeah it was a it was a fascinating experience oh i will say one of the the mega things that i really liked they have a colorway that is like marble or like stone. I know the like model ones thing. are really cool. And I actually built this um, from instructions that were provided to me. I built this big sort of like um, arch. rock arch ring thing. Um, and being able to kind of really choose from a one bin of bricks and still get a modeled interesting appearance in the rocks was really great rather than having to go okay i need to put a gray one here and now a light gray here and okay no wait now i need to grab a different color gray and put it in you can i didn't it kind of took out that thinking part of it i could just kind of go okay i'm i'm just adding the bricks on so that was cool um any questions? <laughs> Maybe we can do a Q and A. Well, I think, like you said, we should have Bruce on to talk more. Yeah, about we it. should have uh, we should have Bruce on, and we'll uh, we'll talk about the whole project. But it was, I mean, from from my perspective, um, my I mean, I enjoyed doing the hands on work, but I really enjoyed the process of building the um, of designing the models because I designed like. I want to say 20, 20 different models, maybe a couple, maybe one, you know, and there were of course the ones that didn't end up making it to production or, you know, like that. But um, how many, uh, did you get any free Barbie 
figures out of it? No, I wish. <laughs> I was wondering. I was wondering if they were going to sneak like their other brands into the model, like Halo, Master Chief, Barbie, Pokemon, He Man. Well, well. So from what I understand, these play area things that are going to be at the, so like the one in Abu Dhabi is like in a mall, like but you know malls there are very different. Like they're like these mm-hmm. huge mega complexes with stuff, you know, like Mall of America type. Skiing and, and <laughs> so. Um, what I understand is that there is like a Barbie area, there's a you know, a Mega Bluff area, there's another area. These are kind of akin to maybe I would guess like a mini theme park, sort of, you know, like with little with things to do in all across all their different brands. Yeah, so, so I think what it, it's did I get it right? Yeah, Barbie's underneath Mega Constructs now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, well, I mean, it's all under the same parent company. It is, but I think this was, um, like, it was specifically focused on um, just the theme. Like, I think each area is specifically focused on the one brand. So, like, Barbie is about Barbie. Like, the, yeah, Halo's going to be about Halo. And yeah, Halo's Mega's going to be, be about and... what you can do with Mega in a generic sense. Like, space, there's dinosaurs. Like, and... And I was really, I got to say, too, I was really impressed. I wish I would have gotten the opportunity to work on some of the bigger dinosaur models because they were really cool. Like the people who designed were really cool. But um, I really enjoyed my my process of the of the small. And of course, I got I got much better at it as it went along and, you know, was able to kind of fully realize things in a very small format. So. Well, when you're working with a model that's 30 pieces, that one slope makes a huge difference, right? Yeah, and then well, and then you really learn how to um, uh, abstract things, you know, like when you 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 know really bring it down to its ba- most basic shapes. I think that's the number one for for me. That's the number one thing that sets Lego building apart from other media is the requirement to abstract. Like you're always dealing with some level of abstraction unless you're making an enormous model where your pixels are really small. Yeah. Like, and, and, uh, micro scale is the number one example of that, right? Yeah. Like we see that it looks like a city and all that, but I wonder to what degree someone who's not involved with Lego would immediately get everything we yeah. get about micro scale. <clears throat> That's the challenge I had with, um, when I was helping Mel Brown run his, his uh, camp. Remember when we did that? We did this online mm-hmm. build camp for the kids, and yeah. all the kids they had a grant to provide a medium create creative. Is that what it was? Creator box, you know, yeah. just bricks. So all the kids got had access to one of those um, boxes, and my task was to come up with um, builds from all the parts in that box. Right. And we tried to keep it on theme. We had a theme for each week so that we could teach a lesson from it, right? I so remember we that. Like, yeah, we would do, uh, you know, I designed like a little landscape that again is similar to what you're talking about, maybe 30 pieces or something. And from that had to teach them how to do like a waterfall and how to do rock construction, how to build trees. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's so um, cool. And then we had um, like seasonal things too, depending on when the classes ran. So I'd made like a little leprechaun for St. Patty's Day. And then we did a pumpkin on Halloween. And yeah, and it was just like, oh, and we had to do uh, some sort of like motion too. I think we had like a week on some kind of like something that moves. And oh, I get like no parts to work with so (laughs) it was like it was really challenging but it was super fun i think that's one of the more satisfying challenges i've ever i've ever had because of course you're you know it doesn't take much to impress the kids most of those kids had never even had their hands on lego before and so their minds were just blown right but i did i will say that when i was teaching i found it or i'm teaching adults because i've taught adults that too but i have found it difficult to teach somebody who doesn't know about Lego, kind of like the difference between micro scale, minifig scale, and, you know, like some other scale. So like to them, a Lego house is a Lego house. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like they don't know, <laughs> yeah. they're just like, oh, okay. So the the, the idea of having to um, utilize interesting parts, like 
the idea of having to utilize a um, a headlight brick turned around backwards to create a window is lost on them because they don't even understand what a headlight brick is to begin with and why that's significant. Oh, look, I I pulled up my little leprechaun. So happy happy St. Patty's Day. Yeah, there you go. Lito. Very good. <laughs> you know, no Irish person in the history of the world has ever said title be toe. No, but leprechauns have. Oh, it's true. All the time. <laughs> All the time. It's like their catchphrase besides catch me lucky charms. What's her catchphrase? Title be toe. I've never Are heard that sure before. That? No, I'm not getting in trouble. You no. clearly don't hang out with a lot of leprechauns. No, no I because don't. if Maraid shows up in here, I'm in so much trouble. So just we're gonna end it I here. Think she did, by the way. She might. I think she is here. Oh no, Denine's here, but she's you know she. Yep. <laughs> uh, anywho, you know, you know when I think of scale, I go to the same benchmark that I use in my professional drafting work. I start with the size of a door. What size does a door have to be? Which is to say, like, is this for micro babies? Is this for you know trophies or technical? <laughs> things if you can make the the door or the figure size work then everything else goes from there well and then that's interesting right because that means you know micro scale doesn't give any kind of like it's one one hundredth or something like that it just happens to be micro scale and your version of micro scale and somebody else's might be different if you choose a headlight brick to be your door and somebody yeah. else chooses yeah. a window to be a door yeah I think I think all micro scale means is that's smaller than many fig scale. That's pretty much it. Right, but but then there's yeah. mini land scale, which is bigger than mini land. Than, is bigger. That's not micro scale. No, no I said it's bigger than it's bigger. It's bigger than mini fig scale. Oh, yeah. remember that jazz club we saw that was mini land? Yeah, that was really cool. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Anywho. And and Moto, have you ever built, like, I don't know that you build for figures, but you're a fan of the Technic figures, right? It, it would yeah, take I a am. huge build to make a, for a Technic figure. Well, yeah, well, I mean, uh, when we do yep. next, when we do next year's Belleville layout. <laughs> I can show you the relationship. I've got a Belleville right over here. I'm trying. I, by the way, my challenge right now is to try and build something for this collab just out of the miscellaneous parts I pulled from Audrey's friends collection. Oh, very (laughs) good. Awesome. I love it. Very good. I mean, they're pretty close to on the height. Oh yeah, they are. They're pretty darn close. It's like they're married. Mm -hmm. Uh, She's a little bit taller than he is. That's okay. Her, There's no shame in that. Her outfit looks more comfortable than his does. Yeah, what's really amazing is what happens when uh, you know the, the technic in the in the mini land um, start raising a family. Oh, oh, uh no. oh, oh no! No, oh. stop! You <laughs> Why? Any you opportunity? Stop! <laughs> Saw that coming. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm I'm seriously collecting those babies because they're the things that creep you out. I'm gonna wait till I get a whole army of them. Oh my god! I'll have to do a bunch of creepy baby mechs or something like that. What if you What if you fell asleep wearing your glasses and you woke up and one of those babies was holding onto your glasses? It's like ah, oh, right in your face. <laughs> you would know Moto's been in your room. <laughs> 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 no, don't let it no. touch your face. <laughs> I think I saw that in one of the Star Trek movies. <laughs> oh, you know, goodness. Hey, if you're gonna Danny's do a brick, here. if How's you're gonna do a brick version of the movie Train Spotting, this shows up at some point. Oh, oh God, no, my goodness! No, stop! I'm, the I'm gonna have nightmares, Moto. Um, are we? Are we? Uh, I think it's about, I think it's about I, that, that time. special time. Let's swivel. Gosh, because I just can't look at the baby anymore, more than anything else. <laughs> but, um, I've got all these mini dolls nulled out on the table here so we can pick faces. Yes, and I know and Logan, Logan is going, is going to, to destroy, destroy them. them. So no, <laughs> no nulling for the Here, I'll feed the babies. <laughs> Stop. 
There you go, guys. <laughs> That's right, everybody. It's Logan Cookie Time. All right, Skittles, come here. He's helping. Oh, yay, we get Skittles. Come here. Good boy, yay, Logan. Logan. What a good catch. Come here, puppies. Say, say hi to everyone. It's a yay, good boy. earthquake. Okay, you get this one, gentle. <clears throat> there you go. Oh, see, he can be. He can be gentle. He can. And one last thrown. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh dear! Here we go. Oh, and now it's to the weather with, with Skittles, Skittles and a friend and Skittles puppeteer. Okay, she's just gonna get one today. So she's got a tummy ache, so she can't be eating a bunch of treats. And I have oh. ants. I have ants in here, so I can't risk them falling on the floor and getting lost. She caught it! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Audrey's distracting her. Hi. Hi, Audrey's arm. Hi. Yeah, puppet puppeteering. Hello, everybody. <laughs> How are you today? Wow. All oh, right. Man. And that has been Hi. <laughs> featuring Skittles. What is happening? Jeez. What are you doing? What, what are you guys doing? I don't know. No, I have it's, no idea. It's being crazy. You okay. should bring Skittles as as um, a Lego service helper to the convention. Right. right. Oh my goodness. Have you seen Oliver's post? His last post. His last note. No. no. What's that? Oh. No, oh no. No. You cheeky monkey. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Good for you, Oliver. Oh, the neck. Do you want to see pics? Fabby Phantom Ke says the next joint, the neck joints for Technic and Fabulon figs are interchangeable. Well, I did that for Fab Max. I swapped the heads. That's right. That's right. You did. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh shoot. That's terrifying. I still have to. I got to go back to my Scooby Doo and swap it with the uh, mini doll. Still. <laughs> hey, Josh Gay is here. Hey, Josh. Wow. Hi, right, gonna see him this yeah, weekend. The final like Not ready at all. Yes, sir. That is what that is would be happening. 99% of us. You know, <laughs> Josh Gay is one of the bravest Lego enthusiasts and builders that I know of because he's actually driven people's like not a few routinely routinely by driven the way. people's mocks in a van to the convention <laughs> and to conventions or all or, the or he arranges for somebody else to you know swing by to pick up your mock on the way to a convention yeah he's an, he's <laughs> An Let's amazing. Not the Costco trips. You know, we tried. And Costco trips. We tried to get provisions for um, one of our first Lego conventions, and we went to Costco with Josh Gay, and we got like ten pounds of cream cheese. Like I don't know what we were thinking, <laughs> but we, we had more with someone more it? cream cheese. Okay, I just want you to know that the the amount of cream cheese, like <laughs> every time he tells the story, there's like a, at least another pound of cream cheese gets added on yeah. well i need convention snacks <laughs> remember like that time in portland where it gets a degree hotter every time you guys visit true. that's true talk about lego heroes in our chat marilyn parmley when um and this is when we went to a convention and holly was there when we first met her we were doing a piece that required a lot of babysitting and marilyn parmley brought us snacks to our mock just mm -hmm. saved our convention oh well i mean the amount of times between california dreaming i mean and then of course to like a hyper degree um treasure of the snake queen we required <laughs> snacks <laughs> that one had to be like we had to have people there. like running food otherwise we would have never eaten or breathed like the entire time we were there convention was... fun oh boy moto moto yeah. you are too much i developed a horrible case of pink eye no, <laughs> no, that is really... uh... no that is just wrong Ew. that is just wrong this but reminds me of like that a lego piece that was 
that seems this like is almost worse than the character in the Sandman that has teeth for eyes. It's very disturbing. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I try to get them out of my eyes, but I can't reach. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Deneen says, it's okay if we're building on site Thursday and Friday. Yes, of course. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm going to be, basically, we're going to be done, right? But we'll pack every extra open space in the luggage with spare brains. Yeah, well, yes. As you do. You expected. Oh, my goodness. Well, I am, I. it's going to be a... Uh, it's funny how these things sneak up on you, isn't it? I mean, even though it's we've been to, like it's been in the sneak up. You've been talking forever. about this thing for yeah. Well, yeah, well, I, talking and doing are different things. <laughs> well, yes. Well, also in our defense, we had a whole plan laid out and then ended up having to pivot like about three weeks ago. Yeah. So we brand like, new design. We, so, like we completely redesigned the entire thing. Yeah. Um, speak softly. Carry a big, a big separator. No, no, I, true. I'm curious for the panel members here and anyone in the chat. Um, often we start with photographs, inspirational photographs and, and sketches and all this. And we kind of have an idea of what we're building with this one. The bricks told us. Right? Yeah, had, it was definitely that. It was we had a those. color we wanted to work in. Like we wanted to do this trans neon green and we went on BrickLink and got some parts and the bricks told us what they wanted to be. Do you, how about um, you, Cara, do you um, start with a design or what's your process? It completely varies, honestly, depending on what I want to build. I think a, a lot of the time, though, generally speaking, I'll get an idea and it's, it's like a vision or even a title. Um, and I'll say, I want to build that scene because I like scenes. I like, you know, I like anything. Surprise. Like uh, like Ratatouille or no one expects the Spanish Inquisition. Exactly. I'm like that. I wanted and then I'll start thinking about parts I want to use and colors and, and the figs that I want to use in, in my head. And I think more often than not, I I've, I've got it a sketch in my head. Sometimes I'll do I'll do a really like I, I only do stick figure drawings so i'll do a stick figure drawing <laughs> if it communicates that's all than that, it's just in my head and then i start to play with the bricks and um and then the bricks will tell me like you know oh you you really just can't put bricks together that way you'll have to do something different or you know what i'll bet this brick exists and then i go to brick length and a hundred dollars on it and, yep. um, you know so i i think that's that's it i, just, I get a big I think about it for a long time, and then I start to build. I think that's the main thing. The main way. Yeah. In Moto, I I have the idea that you start with a technique, and parts, and go from there. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Usually, and then I always ask Mr. Meow what I should build to demonstrate it, and he says a cat. So that's why I turn. <laughs> <to you. laughs> yeah. So that's. I mean, that's one real reason that a lot of. That stuff is is cat centric. Um, although now, so this time, I wanted to go back and you know take a new shot at something I built before and try to do it better. So this, you know, um, what was it? The spaceship set two years ago that was Chrysalis Two, based on Chrysalis One. This year, I'm gonna I'm gonna wear make a new mask because the Mr. Meow's a lot's awesome, but he's been around for, I think, three years, three and a half years. That's an interesting question. What is the what is the shelf life of a mock? Like, we tend to keep certain ones around for a really long time. Like, we still have I keep mine. Deal. I keep mine until they self-destruct. So that Bionicle Dragon <laughs> died. That one imploded, and I had to well, take Until you parts. need parts, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I know it, the rest of them I've kept for the most part. I've kept all my stuff intact. I sold my first mock from the from the eighties, from like nineteen eighty two, eighty four or something. Uh, I'm unusual though. I have enough parts to kind of keep them. Intact. Yeah, we'll see. I don't normally build just from a pile of bricks, so we'll see if I manage to pull anything off. This is definitely not my typical style. Well, I see you're surrounded by cups. 
Yeah. I mean, well, those are just, those have already been sorted. So those are part, you know, so if I'm looking for a specific part, then I have those to pull from, but I'm just going through like the bin and trying to find interesting parts. And so anything that's, or good sculptural parts, you know, any sort of like curved, slo you know, slopes or uh, snot bricks or anything like that. I'm kind of just pulling that out. So I have something to start with. For me, sometimes a limitation on a mock has been when it finally gets so dusty that you can't tell the colors anymore. <laughs> <laughs> then it's got to come apart and be washed. Shut up. Have you been in my house recently? <laughs> we had a pirate island that you made with Tina, right? It was the very first mock I made when we bought our, um, like our first bulk brick mm. pie. Yeah, it was like a little pirate island thing. And eventually it needed some dish soap. Yeah, it was not didn't do so well but anywho boy you know it's when like when you have like a whole lot of mini dolls to put together um it's you know the 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 lack of variety in in the heads really starts to show itself it's an <laughs> army of smiles <laughs> look at this i got a whole cup full of mini dolls from audrey oh very oh, cool yeah. nice and then she's got this cool um, box. It's like an elves, this elves box. Ooh, elves. And then um, when you open it, it's kind of got like a, you know, it's like a little display. Oh, there go the <laughs> egg. But yeah. Wow, I'm jealous. That's like yeah, a, got a bunch of these in here. How oh, cute. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Well, we've got the toothed smile and the crooked smile and the Mona Lisa smile. We have to find some of the the um, male presenting faces as well. Here's one. This sure? is this is no what other you need eyelashes. Is, what you need is this guy. I should save this for a. Oh, the Goblin King. Yeah, he was in our last year's piece. He was like a key player in our castle. He's yep. one of my three favorite figures of all time. He's awesome. I like Balthazar got, too. Uh, we have, we have, there were a few guys in here. Do we have a thing? We oh, can show the thing. I can show a couple of our buildings. Like I said, we had to take them all off, but. Uh, okay. I was going through the. I was going through the basement looking for parts and I came upon a box, a box I had no idea we had full of Fabuland. It wasn't Fabuland, it's Belleville. Oh, Belleville, excuse me. Yeah, and I, cool. I found these amazing doors that we're going to use. Doors so much. Um, okay, so here oh, is Belleville. the, um, so this is just like a one small one of our buildings, but you can see we've got some mini dolls in pods. They're in. They're in peril. <laughs> Amazing. They're not in peril. They are. They are clones. They. Are, oh, that's true. <laughs> uh, they will be clones. Actually, they're going to be. So I got to say, um, like one of our one of the. I get. I can say. Can I say that it's you, Leonard? Leonard um, did. Uh, I think he got like ended up with close to a hundred sweet mayhem figs. Yeah. <laughs> like he's got a ton of them um, that we're using, and he's giving us some to put in our base. And we're gonna have them in our little pods up here as if clones. They're, if they're like clone, like making. Oh wow! Like clones, That's but fun. yeah, and this all lights up. By the way, little pods light up. Yeah, and... they have lights in them, and we're gonna have black light pointed at the at the collab as well. So lights out is what I'm super looking forward to. So yeah, I got, we got all your, I'm pretty sure we got all, all the lights that you guys sent. Oh, here's, Thanks, an, Holly. here's another little one of our buildings here. Let me see. I can. Oh, that's kind of a riff on that classic castle set or I mean, sure. hospital set. Nice. So little so that Bubble has lights windows. on the inside of it, and then one of Adam's ships is going to be docking here on the on the top. Yeah, and then that's how you get down into the. <laughs> There's a whole complicated system. This is like I I've got it all all the mechanics worked out to actually mean something, which is ridiculous, and nobody will ever 
will ever know or ask about it, but hey. I don't know if you're <laughs> familiar way back in the day with a habit trail. It was like a little playland for your hamster. That's basically what our piece is, is, is multiple little pods. The only thing we're missing is a wheel that the minifigs could run on. Then we have a working elevator. We do. Uh, and um, a wow, few other the elevator fun was tough. We have a, a powered up sensor in it that stopped it from getting out of sync. Yes. And then all of that stuff is in trans neon green, which like glows like crazy under black light. So it should be quite a little thing. <laughs> it be, should be fun. Oh, Monica, I'm glad you got those black light fairy lights. I'm going to get some of those, too. Yeah, there's some. Uh... I got some, too. They are really cool. They're small. Mm -hmm. The roller is so tiny. Wow. Yep. And, and it does multiple sequences, and you can replace the batteries. Well, the one I got is just really basic. It's just black light, but it's, it, which is fine. It, um, yeah, it makes, a, makes yeah, quite yeah. the impression. Awesome. It's effective. That's all I needed. Plus, um, honestly, this really compact size is quite useful for going through my Lego boxes and saying, whoa, I didn't know that for rest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the best. That's where we got a little uh, um, a little flashlight, like a black light flashlight yep. to find. Plus, I, I sadly found some, some petals that fluoresce super awesome, but I don't think they're Lego. They're knockoff. Oh. Um, oh. That's one way that you can oh, suss out Mega. So you just take a black light to it and it looks like a crime scene whenever you hit one of those pink ones or whatever. Yeah. The blue know. ones glow. The blue Mega really Yeah, glow blue and too. pink Mega glow glow pretty brightly. Yep. Hey, Town Bricks. How's it going? Oh, my goodness. Well, we have, well, I've got some. Yes, we have all of our matching uniform, <laughs> little uniform people. It's Anna's torso with somebody's legs and a, with white pants with black boots. We got it from Adam. Adam. So these are our indoor workers. And then uh, we'll be using some of uh, Leonard's uh, Sweet Mayhems to be driving the train. Oh, you got to check this out. We got a new... This is one of those things where it's like, what a huge difference one piece can make. It's, um, in, it's behind the squeaky door. It's behind the squeaky door. We'll be right back. <laughs> it is. We've taken that thing off its hinges. We've oiled it. We've done everything, and it just wants to squeak. Okay. That was so, one of our, of our special sound effects during the pandemic. So I know we've shown this before, but I'm going to show show it again here. Let's see, get right over mm -hmm. yonder. So this is our um, our monorail train that we built. Uh, but we cute. got this awesome windscreen for it. It was just pale blue. And it just changed the entire look of it. Like, it looks so much oh, like creepier cool. now. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, it's just way, way... It <laughs> made a huge difference in the entire model. But, yeah. Oh, that's funny. Like, I've got that same, uh, or, well, a similar... Maybe it's not exactly the same, but I've got a similar fin sitting on my table right now. Oh, cool. Oh, the um, the dragon wings. Yeah, I got a couple yeah. of these too. These are all sitting here. So, oh. anyway, so. really excited about this. So yeah, so this will be running around through the. Um, That's awesome. Through the whole model. Yeah, Adam yeah. has a tunnel it'll go through, and ours has a building it goes under. How delightful is it to see it? It went away. It came back again. You know, about every eight yeah. seconds. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you, so, and then the thing about that too is we really. Um, we built that based on sketches by Paint Pusher of something he wanted to do that kind of looked uh, like the Nautilus from like the original one from the the one from the Disney movie, not the original one, but the one from the Disney movie. Yep. Um, and that windscreen with the divided ones, I think, kind of like put it over the edge of looking much more like the Nautilus more. than it did when it was saying something about those windows. But anyway, cool. Um, you know. And that was, and I got to say, now that was also a last minute addition. We just had the blue one and this is a, 
Cheers to uh, going on BrickLink, and I had to I had to order all the mini doll parts. And while I was on the site where I was ordering, I was like, "Let me see what every what else they have." I was Got like, "Oh, that order! This windscreen looks really cool." So and I didn't really, really know that it would work until we got it but it was like 60 cents or something i was like why not and yeah i'm so glad that we did so by the way if you want a terrifying uh look um i just posted the link to oliver's uh, scary baby brick head oh. <laughs> hey alexander 23z how's it going good to see you man <clears throat> you have a fantastic day too my friend um that's uh yeah so that's um that's what we've got oh, going on for Cascade. What's that? Yeah, they all look. That. Oh, mm. ooh. Okay, can I say this is my least favorite male presenting um, mini doll. Mini doll design he head. Oh, it's so awful. Well, he doesn't have a lot of personality. Well, it's regardless. But is this? Let hang on a minute. Clicky's got to come out of retirement. There you go. It's just a weird. It's got like a big it's kind of flat. It's generic shape head. I don't know. It's weird. They and all then, look, always look weird with noses I anyway. I found, <laughs> I found another one that is this one, which is the most terrifying mini doll head ever made, and that's this blank. It's just oh a blank. nice oh. like that. Yeah, that's from a. Um, the Little Mermaid set with, and it had like the uh, the entire headpiece for Triton, like the beard and the face and everything was all on the on the headpiece. Oh, so, I figured it was the question. Yes, <laughs> it's well, it's great if you need to make a mini doll mannequin. It's a perfect or uh, stand. Perfect thing, mannequin Skywalker. <laughs> there you go. Love his work. Uh, anyway. <laughs> How about mini dolls? Mini figs. <coughs> Let's do mini Let's figs. Let's do mini figs before we depart. Um, who's first? One. Who's on first? Not me. Not Sir, it. Sir Cara. Cara has one. I do. I heard you live in a hovel for the low, low price of only a million bells. I can give you a roof. Oh, oh, it'll only so be a roof. We'll have jealous. to talk about payment for the walls later. I just paid off my my um, Animal Crossing loans. We don't have any Animal Crossing sets yet. Why? Because they were all sold out. I, I got this on day one, and this was the only one available. Yeah, I'm still waiting on mine. Uh. And it, it did come late. All the other things I ordered with it came first, and I was like, oh. And this can showed up several days later, but anyway, it came, and it's sort of got this cute little blousing in the back. Oh, uh, it's so awesome! But you owe me a million bells. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Holly, are you ready? Yeah, uh, I mean, sure. So I don't think this body. Yeah, it doesn't quite go together, but he looks pretty Irish. Yay! <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> why not? Monica. Isn't that cute? And he's got his green shirt on. Yeah, and his green pants. He's got green shirt and green pants. And Moto. Oh, God! Why? Why? <laughs> Jump scare warning! Uh, no. Gotcha. Just Stop. You know, if you kept them that way, as soon as we were off the show, both of those heads would turn and look at you. <laughs> well, they already are. Turn backwards and look at you. Oh, my goodness, no. I do have right. a real minifig, though. Uh, let's go with Duncan Idaho. My man. Oh, <laughs> uh, he's cool. I like his blousy shirt. And his man bun. <laughs> all right, what are we doing here? This goes back. Wow, you're pulling out all the hits. This goes back to one of our oh, first yeah. pieces. The minor 49er. We just made him up too, I think. Yep. That was <laughs> I mean they I knew they had one, but then and then I'm going for a CMF because it is a favorite. Oh, that one needs to go in the collection. 
Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. Got that. Brown it's spaceman like the, with baby like space. It's the Easter chocolate spaceman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can totally put the animal or the bunny ears on that. No, no. You guys know the real reason that spaceman um, was molded in that color or colored that. I don't know. Because um, he has a baby and you're changing the diapers in space. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, Stop. Anti gravity. No, no. Well, Moto gets to say that because he's actually changed diapers, and I wouldn't in be su I wouldn't be surprised if it was in There's space. There's my goat. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I've been looking all over for this thing. My goodness. Anyway. You finally found your goat. Yeah, well, that's my a special, special one. Yeah, my special Sam Hatmaker. Sam Hatmaker goat. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Uh, goat. I didn't realize it was on the like in the special container. It is in the special container. I gotta say, he did a great job painting this. Like the paint job on it is exceptional. Yep. But uh, unless, he, oh, maybe he didn't. Paint, I think he. Yeah. Anyway. No. Does this happen matter. to you? Like, does so, this happen to you? You're does just it like an infomercial. Where okay. you take something like your sig fig or your special goat and you put it in that special place so you don't lose it. And then mm -hmm. those are the things that disappear most, most quickly. Yeah, I have like 12 special boxes. <laughs> yeah. Well, now and for three monthly, people are coming over. For three monthly installments of $99.99, you too can have a special place to put all your special things that will never get lost. With the special stuff and the special places. You know, if I was suddenly immensely rich, if I won the lottery and was incredibly rich, I wouldn't have a super fancy car. I wouldn't have a McMansion, but I would have people come over and sort all my bricks for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do the cleaning and sort. I don't the know, man. I'm not sure I would trust anybody else sorting my stuff. I'm I sure might have to micromanage it. Yeah, exactly. Like make a little Everything laminated a little, sign. A little differently. So, same, yeah. Josh. Same. Flynn yeah. and I have gone back and forth about the importance and efficacy of pea touching <laughs> labels on the little IKEA shelves that hold all the bricks. I would label absolutely everything. That's why I like I just labeling. Figured, I figured just to have a bunch of, um, you know, you take after Willy Wonka and have just like a big squirrel sorting, big squirrel sorting or Oompa Loompas or something to do all that. Yeah. Stuff. Well, yeah. if we had squirrels doing it, Logan could keep them in line. Oh, yeah. well, we actually, we wouldn't have any employees because he would have <laughs> killed them all at this point. Yeah. Anyway, well, everybody, it's been a delight and we have so much building to do. Um, I, I'm sure that some of you do too. What? Oh, yeah, I found that. I, f I we, love we this. just found I this. just found the little baby kid. Oh, I can't remember what set that's from, but it's an awful cute little kid. It's like a ghost kitty right now, anyway. Um, it is, uh, yeah. Hey, thanks everybody for joining us today. Hope to be seeing um, uh, you all or however many of you will be there at Bricks Cascade. Uh, if, come find us. We will be having a meetup, which we, we will decide upon once we are all there and can kind of coordinate schedules and things. I know Kara sadly will not be able to join us this year, which I don't even know. Like I've never been to a Brick Cascade without Kara. I don't know how this is going to work. We've almost never been to any convention without each other. That's, that's true. true. That is actually Ooh. absolutely true. We're, well, we're going to bring your amazing work and you'll be well represented. And if you want to find us at Bricks Cascade, go to the Duplo pit. <laughs> if you want to find us at Bricks Cascade, go to the garage door. Cause that's where we'll be. Uh, <laughs> And, that we'll right be, hand and we'll be facing the we'll be facing the show floor, but uh, yep. near the near the garage door. That's where we are. So, Is that uh, the upper right hand side of the uh, United layout? Yeah. Yes. yes. Like Along with Technic and Bionicle, Star Wars. So uh, that's Ooh. that's going to be a fun uh, a fun crew to meet and hang out with. <laughs> Looking forward to it. This is It'll not an interesting match at all. Well, if our if our mechanical elevator has problems, we can just talk to the people in Technic, right? Next exactly. Door. We'll be a, yeah. we're going to be well placed for lots of help. So, 
Gosh, everybody, thanks so much for joining us. Hope to see you uh, at Cascade. If not, we will see you in two weeks back here on what is apparently Easter Sunday. Uh, but we will be here. Um, <laughs> you will too. <laughs> wow. It must have been funny if, if Moda was laughing. Um, but uh, thanks, everybody. And he has a new algorithm. Time, <laughs> don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy. Have fun building, and we will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. See you soon. Happy building and stuff.